it's Monday. I just got out of work. I'm on my way home. Steve and I stopped here yesterday on our way back from restocking all the booths and we got some really great stuff. So I decided I'm going to swing back in because they were stocking the shelves and the stuff that we got may have all come from the same house. There might be some more great stuff in here. So I'm going to see if we can find some more great stuff.
inside of this fabulous piece right here. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Made in the Philippines. It's beautiful. Little trinket dish. Look at that. I saw this little piece on the cart yesterday and we had to get going so I wasn't able to be here. I'm so glad it's still here. I really wanted to get this. It's such a cool little piece. Where, you know, you pull and he, his arms come up and legs come up. I love him. He's so cool. Look at my little baskets full already. Very quickly. That looks like a newer. Yeah, that's just a hobbyist type canister. This is pretty glass. Considered this yesterday, but decided against it. I just didn't like the finish on it. It is a Pier 1, though. And I do like Pier 1. It wasn't $20 new, but I decided against that. Alright, let's keep going. Oh, 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 I see something mid-century modern. Let me dig this out. Okay, here's a little shelving unit. This is mid-century modern. We'll go ahead and grab that. Okay, okay, let's get into the hall. This was a nice stop at this Goodwill. It was actually two stops. We stopped there on Sunday evening on our way back from refilling the three booths. And I talked Steve into running in. He was tired. He didn't really feel like going in. But I said, hey, we're driving right by. It's one of my favorite Goodwills to go to. So let's just run in see if there's anything great on the shelves and sure enough it was loaded and they were refilling the shelves too and bringing out cart after cart after cart so i had a hard time leaving but steve didn't want to stay long so we did have to leave so i decided on monday after work to swing back by again to see if you know anything was still on the shelves because there was a lot of good stuff coming out and sure enough i did get some extra great items so let's get into it here First up here are these beautiful shell pieces. And I'm starting, we are starting to uh, collect items for our summer booths. So these will probably be held off until the summer. Who knows? I don't know. We have three booths now, so we may just go ahead and put it in there somewhere. You know, on that note, I just want to share that we are actually rehoming about a hundred items out of each booth every month, somewhere between 80 and 100 items. So now with a third booth, I don't know what to expect with that booth yet, but you know, that's going to bring us up to about 300 items a month that we are going to be rehoming. So that does keep us busy hunting for treasures and, and getting them in the booth. So we may not wait till summer to put these gorgeous pieces in. They may go in right away. But look at this beautiful mother of pearl dish with the shell. And I think that is silver on there. It is just a beautiful piece. And then I think I highlighted these in the video. These are some little hors d'oeuvre picks. It's got the little hors d'oeuvre knife. All the shells are in great condition. I just thought that was such a precious little set. I love this boho cross. It says love and hope on it. I just love the look of it. I can't determine if... I think it's pottery and not resin. I've got to take a little closer look at it. But it looks like a button heart and it's got some butterflies and flowers and the colors. It's just a really cute piece. And I think I said in the video, this guy, they were bringing out on Sunday night, but Steve was done and ready to go. And I saw him on the cart and I'm like, oh, I want to get that guy when he puts him out on the shelf. And uh, so I missed him, but he was there Monday. So I grabbed him and he's just so cute. He's two-sided, different color on the other side. And... I don't know the name for it, but you pull the little string and his arms, you know, go up and down and the legs go up and down. I don't know if it's called jumping jack or what it is, but. And then this is a, a musical rocking horse and it does work. Everything's in good condition. No chips or anything. It's just a beautiful piece. I always like to pick up these little compacts. I just think they're nice to have in your purse. They have mirrors in them. You can... If you have medications, you can carry your medications in them, or they're just a nice little, like I said, compact to have in your purse. And another wooden candlestick. They're always good to have. 
I don't know if I talked about this one already. Maybe I did. But anyway, no, I found one at the, uh, the bins that I talked about in a previous video. And so now I have this one too. And I think that would go real nice with it. So nice little wooden candlestick. And then here's some vintage greenery, a candle ring for Christmas. And I love this. I don't know if it's a scarf or you could use it as like a, a table runner, but it's, it appears to possibly, possibly be handmade. It's got this beading on it and then these little bangles. I liked it. I thought it was pretty and it does jingle. Got the vintage Christmas tablecloth. I always pick these up with the gold um, thread through it that's shiny. I just think these are beautiful. So I do have a few of those tucked away for the holidays. But I, I think they're really nice. And then I thought this angel was precious. With her holly wings as leaves. Or holly leaves as wings. And her wreath and her... Looks like a tree is her base. I just thought she was a very pretty woodland type angel. Would make a great piece in a woodland Christmas decor. And look at more luminaries and beautiful sconces. These are black. And these two, I, the price was on these. The price is not on these. So I do not think these are a matching set. I actually don't, don't believe they're a matching set at all because these are much heavier than these. And the pricing on these was $25 a piece new. So they're not going to be $25 a piece in our booth. But it's a nice, it, it could be a nice matching set. Also got this cross. It's a rustic looking cross. I like the rosette on it. It's a metal piece, so you could put it outside if you wanted to. Anything metal over time is probably going to rust, but that's the idea of rustic. I did pick up this decanter. I loved the pineapple design on it. It goes all the way around. Just beautiful. The only thing with this is this stopper is not the correct stopper for this decanter. They put it out there with it, so I did go ahead and take it. And I knew I had some stoppers at home, so I thought, okay, well, it's worth giving it a try and the only one that would could have possibly fit was this one that I had at home but it's it doesn't quite fit so I can't we can't use that so either I you know either we are going to hang on to this piece until I can find a stopper that fits or we'll just put it in without a stopper and price it accordingly maybe put some flower decor in there or Put it with the stopper and say this, you know, that stopper is not the correct stopper. I don't know. But that's what happens sometimes when you, you pick up pieces. You take a risk. Look at this beautiful pitcher and bowl. This is just gorgeous. I love the size of this. A couple on the, on the last video, I showed you a small um, table. What do you call it? washstand a small washstand and this would be the perfect size for that except for the bowl is to the hole in the washstand is for a bigger bowl but as far as decor goes this would be really pretty on top of that washstand this is actually from England this is Charlotte Royal Cromford Staffordshire England beautiful transferware piece Lovely. It's going to make a lovely piece for somebody. She was bringing this out on the cart and I asked her if I could have it. It's some um, spices of Morocco. So I am going to remove the spices are actually in here. I'm going to remove the spices because I do not know if they're outdated. And I'm going to remove this and we'll just go ahead and sell the box. Because the box is a beautiful decor piece with the uh, camel on it and the palm tree and the flowers. Very nicely carved. Steve found this marble Lazy Susan. Beautiful. Another lady was looking at it but put it back and Steve says, you're not getting that? And she said no. And he said, okay. And he grabbed it. He loved it. He likes Lazy Susans. Nice boho basket with a wooden base in really good condition. And look at these. These will be fun for somebody that has a coastal decor. 
they're re, re, you know they're reed pops but they still are really nice they're wooden and this is one of my favorite pieces that we found i love this copper beautiful copper it's gorgeous that's from england also just love it can you imagine that with some beautiful a beautiful plant in it oh just love it a black cat for the halloween booth some uh, black stemmed wine glasses and then here is a nice display piece for necklaces i'll probably be using that in one of the booths for necklaces and then a a print animal print pillow and then the last piece was this mid-century modern little knick-knack rack don't know if steve's going to incorporate this into one of his coffee bars that he makes or if we're going to go ahead and offer this up but i think that is it some great stuff hope you enjoyed it everybody you can find these beautiful items and all the others that we show in all the other videos in our one of our three booths at uh, either Antiques at Gresham Lake in Raleigh, Collected Treasures in Garner, or the Market of Raleigh in Raleigh. So go find yourself a treasure and put a big smile on your face.